developing tonight a suspect in custody in connection with the deadly shooting of a nine-year-old Janari Ricks. That child was steps from his home Friday night when he was shot. It's a shooting prompting outrage and demands for action. WGN's Dana Rebick is live from the near north side with the latest developments. Dana, good evening. Good evening. Well, uh, Chicago police tell us that they have plenty of good surveillance video to go on in this case, but they say probably one of the most important things that helped them is something that often doesn't happen in Chicago, and that was witnesses coming forward to police. He wasn't in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's where he's supposed to be. He's a little kid playing in the summer. Pastor Donovan Price visited the scene where nine-year-old Janari Ricks lost his life Friday night, placing a cross at a growing memorial near the former Cabrini Green housing complex as police announce a major development in the case. We're not in this position without the help of the community who came forward and gave us information which allowed us to actually identify and arrest the suspect. A man they are not identifying yet, but hoping to charge within 48 hours. Detectives say multiple witnesses worked with them immediately after the shooting, telling them the sequence of events and who pulled the trigger. Young boys playing out there, not doing anything wrong. As, uh, as a defendant, um, he drives up, kind of sneaks through like a cut of a gangway, and then he discharges a firearm, not at, not at this kid, at a group of other males who are standing near uh, the poor boy. I want everyone to know that the two people, the, the guy the guy was shooting at and the guy who was doing the shooting, neither one of them live over there. The violence did not come from people who live in the row houses. 27th Ward Alderman Walter Burnett says he feels that could have contributed to the community cooperation. This is the best example of a community coming forward. I would encourage other communities uh, to take note. And, and uh, today, Cabrilla Greens, the Marshall uh, neighborhood, is safer because this person is arrested and off the street. Alderman Burnett says that while the uh, accused shooter and intended target did not live in Cabrini Green, he says that they both grew up in that complex and he believes that drug trafficking could have been a factor. Live on the near north side, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Dana, thank you.